when it's artist to artist, it's a lot better. Mm-hmm. Like I can just ring Talia, talk about things and it's sorted. Yeah. When it's like, I'll go through management, go through labels. It takes a long time. Well, everyone just gets their little opinions in on the route to the artist. <laughs> yeah, true, and, then you, true. and then you end up like- It's like, it's like Chinese whispers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's been great. It's been great. And I'm just super excited for it to come out. You have a new song coming out. I do. This Friday. This is actually going out on Wednesday, by the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in two days. So in two days, it's out. What is it? It's called Sweet Lies. Yeah. With someone that you might know quite well. It's Talia me. Talia Mar. Oh, everyone. Talia. Talia Oh my Mar. God, that's your fiance. Yeah. Holy it's shit. It's weird. My fiance and my girlfriend have both done a song with you now. What's it like if you have an argument? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> what if you have an argument with yeah. your missus? You get in the car and it comes on. You're just like. Um, Do you get in arguments with her? Not really. I would love to see an argument between you and Talia. I feel yeah, like, I feel like you'd never argue. Yeah, I feel like that as well. There's more disagreements. But I feel just... like she would slap you about in an argument. Physically or emotionally? Well, maybe both. No, no, that's a joke. Uh, emotionally. <laughs> I feel like, because you're actually quite smart as well, but I feel like on a in an argument, she would just win no questions. Um, I feel like she's like, that's her first I You know what? Yeah, chilled. she wins all the arguments. Oh, smart. Oh, smart. Oh, smart. Do you let her win? Oh, smart. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called what? Sweet Lies. <laughs> sweet Lies. That's bad for you. Yeah. She's mm. lying to you. Sweetly though. Mm. So it's fine. <laughs> just really make up for it. <laughs> yeah. it but it's, I've heard a song like on like, you know, I actually haven't heard it fully. Have you? Yes. That's you'd like, you'd <laughs> like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard it about on, online. I've heard it, you've played it on your phone and stuff, I think. So it's, it's, it's good. It's very good. Thanks. <laughs> we wouldn't really put it out if it wasn't. Um, yeah, no, do you know what? It's like, um, it's just it's just an amazing pop song. I yeah, think. yeah. It's got the nostalgic element to it with the sample of Sweet Like Chocolate. So mm-hmm. it resonates with an older audience. Yeah. And what's mad is a lot of the, like the new school now, they don't actually know the samples. Like even flowers. Yeah. People think I wrote flowers. Yeah, yeah. So like, these kids will send me a video of like the Sweet Female Attitude version. Mm-hmm. Saying, oh, they're playing your tune. And I'm like, it's not my tune. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, you sampled that tune. And like, it just reminds you of like, these kids then refined mm-hmm. these old classics. And I think that's quite interesting because what you always find as well is when you sample a tune, the original has a spike in plays and yeah. you know, streams and stuff. So um, so yeah, it's like a crazy old little thing really. And it's crazy because a lot of people are also sampling the same era of music right, right yes. now. And from me growing up, I've listened to like Kanye and stuff, like uh, sampling songs from the 60s, 70s, yeah. 80s. So now I feel like the gap's getting smaller, but it's you're right, they didn't remember it. The it's making me feel very old. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> like, I remember playing these tunes like when they're out. Yeah. And now I'm sampling them mm-hmm. and I'm just like, oh God. What is the like shortest amount of time before you would sample a song? Like you wouldn't sample a song from last week. I was thinking about resampling lighter to get the top five again. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? Um, I don't think there's any rules really as such, but, but for you, for me, hard. I think it all depends. It would all come down to the sample. Like who was it that did it with um, Central C did a sample of something that came out. Doja. No, the- it was dun, like, dun, 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 what's dun, dun, the one before? I should really know this. Mm. Um, with that Pink Panther S. Oh, okay. Because there was two oh. versions of that that came out. Like yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, that's, that's true. Actually. And I was thinking, have they sampled it like a week after or a week before, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But um, I would say really for me, like 20 years, mm. it's like the sweet spot. Yeah. For Which is sample. crazy because a lot of these songs actually are 20 years old now. Yeah. But we just don't realise. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they're from our childhood, we think they're actually brand new, but yeah. they're not. Well, Sweet Art Chocolate was uh, 99. Oh my God. So what's that? Oh my God. Is that 19 years? 23 years, yeah. Quick maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not 23. Yeah, I'm, I'm 94 and I'm 28. Yeah, but I swear it's not. It's, it's 19, 22 it? years in this year. Mm-hmm. Plus one to 99. All right, 23 then. <laughs> but then you take off nine against four, you don't get what six. You get minus six. What's happening in your head? No, but I'm, I'm, I'm born in 94, so take so off- So it's five years, that's five years yeah, difference. Yeah, you said six difference. Cause what? I was born in May. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Can we, get, can we get the date this song came out? You want to find out? Yeah, man. Exactly yeah, I don't just 20. say six like that if you don't, don't know it's six. It's either 23 years or 22 years. Ooh. What date are you born in May? No, 13th. I'm 25th. Oh, mad. 17th of May. Four as well. Nice. Huh? 17th of May. Oh, wow. So that in between us. When's your birthday? 13th. <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> right, I just, I'll, I'll, I just <laughs> loyalty, you, mate. Get good. Um, so you're older than Nathan and shorter. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How old are you? 30. Are you really? Yeah. If you want to join the podcast, Shocking let me know, right? man. Yeah. Like, yeah, you need some new blood. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's replacing you anyway. He's too old though. Isn't he like 43? Yeah, something like that. No, it's actually 37. He gets lying to us. 
No, he said, I don't know anymore. Wikipedia says 37. I looked it up. But he says 43. Yeah, yeah. And who do you believe more? I believe Wikipedia more than Jamie. Oh, fair enough. It's- <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. But anyway, how did this song come about with, uh, with Talia? It was, so this tune was kind of, we've always wanted to sample Sweet Dark Chocolate. Yeah. Um, and obviously I've just sampled the Calabria. No, 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 no. So I was like, I don't really want to do another sample straight away. But the thing in the music industry is not everything goes to plan as such. Like when you've got a, um, a schedule of what you want to come out at what times, yeah. it's always fluctuating and changing. You've got to align artist diaries. Mm. You've got a feature with someone and they're like, oh, we're now bringing this out. It knocks you back. So yeah. a lot of things changed in the last few months. And um, we were trying to find a solution, what to do with Sweet Lights. And um, we obviously we asked Talia to, to give it a go. It sounded absolutely amazing yeah, on it. Yeah. Um, got back in the studio, tweaked with it. And do you know what? It was an easy process, really. It was like just going back and forth, honest conversations. Do you like this? Do you like that? Let's mm-hmm. change that. Let's change that. And um, it come together and we were all like, do you know what? This sounds great. Have we got enough time to get it out this side of Christmas? Probably just about yeah, right. Yeah. You don't want to get too close to Christmas um, mm. because then you just, the charts just fall. Everyone Christmas starts tunes. dropping. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh God. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of a, I would say out of the, Features that I've had in the collaborations, it's definitely been one of the most like just easy free going one. ones, yeah. which is always the best. They always turn out the best. Mm, same, yeah. it was the same as Lito. It was just mm-hmm. so easy to like Works put out. together. Yeah, and um, I think when you're all on the same page and you're not work, when it's artist to artist, it's a lot better. Mm-hmm. Like I can just ring Talia, talk about things, and it's sorted. Yeah, when it's like I'll go through management, go through labels, it takes a long time. Well, everyone just gets their little opinions in on the route to the artist. <laughs> yeah, true, and, then you, true. and then you end up like, like, like Chinese whispers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's been great. It's been great, and I'm just super excited for it to come out. Um, it's when you put a tune out, you always believe in the tune, otherwise you wouldn't put it out. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, you never know how it's going to do. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you'll think this tune's going to fly, and it doesn't. Sometimes you think I'm not sure on this one, and it goes top three. Yeah. So that's the beauty of music. It just takes its own journey. You can't. I can't do any more now. Yeah, yeah. Entirely, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. True, like, right, there you go. Fingers crossed, people yeah. like it. Do you have like a, a an expectation of it? I know you can't really predict it, but yeah. do you have somewhere where you're I, like, I'd I be happy with this? Yeah, people would always say, oh, number one, but I'm more realistic. It's like understanding the industry to get a number one, the numbers are just incredible. Like mm-hmm. it, you've just got to have everything fall for you. Yeah. Every streaming service, TikTok, TV, everything's got to work and it's got to have trends and everything. And that is odd. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes you get four out of five and you need that fifth one to get yeah. there. But in my eyes, you know, my latest single went top 10. I would love to do that again. This side of Christmas would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but if not, after the new year, all the Christmas songs go and True. then you kind of go straight up the chart again. So yeah. I would I would love to get a top 10 and it'd be Talia's first one as well. So That's I've sick, said yeah. to her like, let's really work hard on mm-hmm. this. Let's so get close the top last 10. Time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know <laughs> the feeling. 11, right? Yeah, 11. Yeah. Yeah. We were like that with Flowers. It was like, we were in the chart for ages mm-hmm. and we just couldn't move up from 12. <laughs> yeah. And then like at the start of the week, I mean, it's a bit geeky now, but you get midweek chart updates yeah. that the public don't see, but artists see. Mm-hmm. So like every Monday, Tuesday, we'll be like nine. Like we're, this, this is talking <laughs> about flowers. Yeah. And we'll be like buzzing thinking, yeah, my first ever top 10. And then it comes to Friday and it'd be 12. And that happened for like nine weeks. Yeah. We just kept dropping from nine to 12, nine to 12 on like the actual published day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know the feeling, but it's like, you're so close and it's so disheartening. Yeah. But then you've got to remind yourself, you're actually 12th in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. There's more songs coming out as well. You keep going, keep going. Exactly. So yeah, hopefully top 10 and we can all celebrate and it'd be amazing.